Hello everyone, this is Madeline Dale and I have another amazing author for you guys. I'm going to let her introduce herself and tell us a little bit about her work. Hello, hi everybody. I'm Diana Bones. I write YA fantasy romance novels for teenagers and um, so I have currently um, two books out on Amazon. Um, that's about it. Awesome. And those books are Arranged Love and Forbidden Love, correct? Yes. Yes. I have them pulled up for, with some amazing covers on them. Who did your covers? Um, my covers were made in my interior. Everything was done by... Uh, the Magical Graphics. Sweet. Jessica Osmond. She is fantastic. She does all my graphics and I love her. <laughs> they look amazing. Where did you find the inspiration for these novels? For, um, for the book covers? Or for the, the books themselves, I'm sorry. Um, for the books themselves, um, Actually, my inspiration came from my grandparents uh, who were married 63 years together before my grandmother passed away in 2008. And um, they were my inspiration for finding true love. And actually, it, it, it hasn't happened yet for me, but in my books, it always does. So... <laughs> Books are always the best place to find love. Even if you don't find love in real life, I know one day you will. These, I love romance novels. They're one of my favorite books to escape the real world in. I mean, they are actually inspired by both my grandma and my grandfather. So, yeah, it's basically them in uh, fantasy fiction. I love it. it. Lands. Oh, yeah. That is awesome. What does your, do you have a, um, like a writing plan or what does your normal, like, schedule look like to write? Um, I don't really have a normal writing schedule because right now I'm, I'm writing whenever I can because I just, I, I can't stop and you know how it is ah so, yes that that happens if I get writer's block then I'm blocked for like months and months but if I'm not blocked I'm I'm currently writing a uh, a book that has me going and going and going and I'm and I'm writing it and so it, it kind of it kind of happens like that for me. If I'm writing a book that keeps me going like that, it just it just never stops for me. I get up in the morning and I start writing. I I take a break and I get back to writing. I you know I'm I'm currently always writing something, editing something, writing something. I'm trying to get as many books written as possible mm -hmm. so that my readers don't have to wait as long because I'm a, I'm a slow writer. So there is <laughs> nothing with writing wrong with writing slow. It's I feel like you catch your mistakes and everything easier that way. Yeah. So the project you're working on right now is it another book in the series? Um, the project. I'm currently writing is for another book series. Mm -hmm. It's a book one in another book series, but it's connected to the book series that I'm that I'm currently publishing. Um, it, it's loosely connected. If you read Arranged Love, the book one in my next series is something like that. So if you if you read at least the blurb, you, you're gonna you're gonna see how 
um, how these couples come back into the past and, you know, how their love story began. So it kind of, it, it kind of got me interested in the right the range love. All my other couples uh, developed their love story like that. And uh, it, it's not a spoiler. I'm not giving away who the couple is, but, but you're going to love it. Yes, I already got them on my list to read. I, I swear, I want to read more than I can actually function. It doesn't, oh, it doesn't work because I also have to write to too. To be a red list that, that I can. Yes. Oh, so I finish my reading list because I'm writing, and you know, it, yeah. it's kind of hard. It is hard, and I always find more books to add. <laughs> Yeah, true, true. Yes. The never ending <laughs> TBR. <laughs> oh. So do you feel like with the pandemic and everything, do you feel like it has helped your creativity or maybe hampered it? How has it worked? Like what effect did it have on you? Um, actually, I wrote and published A Range of Love uh, during last year. Mm-hmm. In November of 2020, I published uh, Arranged Love, and it was it was kind of hard writing something during the pandemic because it, it, it kind of brought all this kind of new stuff into my world. Like, you know, you can't go out, you can't do things you can't go out to the stores you can't like have a new experiences you know for books even and um it was kind of hard but then you know with uh, range love being published i got so many positive uh re- requests and all the reviews and everything that I felt like, you know, I should just keep writing. And, you know, it, it kind of helped in a way because um, because the pandemic brought so much stress to everybody. And yeah. I'm not saying just me <laughs> because New York has been really locked down during the pandemic. And um, so it kind of it kind of brought into this it brought me into this kind of you know like a release to to you know to have my insecurities to have my anxiety to have it all out on the page and you know I started writing uh, in January of this year this new book that I'm that I'm teasing um and um so it kind of helped because it it kind of brought back that that inspiration um and it brought back that need to to write something that I'm passionate about to create a world that I've already created but put it into a different uh, into a different way that my readers could see, you know, and that and that brought me back to you know a more calm situation where I could actually function, you know. Yeah, that's good. I know my writing did something similar for me, so it would it's. It's definitely a great way to channel everything you're feeling and the emotions. If you had one thing you could tell your readers about yourself that they don't know, what would it be? Mm, they don't know. Um, I used to dabble in macrame a long time ago, a really long time ago. Um, I also used to sing a lot before my grandfather passed away. After that, I kind of stopped. Ooh. 
Ka. Yeah, I used to try. I tried to play piano, mm -hmm. and I I kind of not good at it, so I stopped. <laughs> um, yeah, but I did play the piano at my internship in um, a teenage. It was um, it, it was an after school program mm -hmm. that I. To, you know, when I was studying psychology, when I got my BA in psychology uh, in college, which most of my readers know, um, that I that I'm a psychologist who turned into an author. Um, <laughs> so um, there's that. Um, and uh, when I was taking my internship in that after school program, the uh, students there and the um, students that I worked along with, they kind of talked me into playing the piano at uh, at one of our um, things where you have to like tell the tell the professor and everybody what you've accomplished at, at that after school program. And I was so nervous that I couldn't that that when I <laughs> when I actually stood up and I looked around, there were like 200 people in that room. Oh. It's like, it's like, oh my God, are you That's alive? So <laughs> 200 people. <laughs> I, I liked it. it That's was good. Like, I liked it. Oh, man. <laughs> I probably would have had a heart attack had I turned around and seen that many people after that. Oh my gosh. So incredible. Yeah. That day I was like, I, I, they talked me into it. I was like, no way am I playing the piano. No way. Uh -uh, you're not going to make me do it. No yeah. way. <laughs> and then I was like, and then I was like, okay, well, yeah, this is my song. I kind of created it, you know, like, okay, fine, I'm going to try. And then I stand up and there are like 200 people over there yes. in the back behind me. Man, that is intense. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. Good Lord. So where can our readers and viewers find your work? Um, my work uh, can be found on my website mm -hmm. and on Amazon. And also, um, and also there's a little teaser on YouTube, which um, Zachary Johnson did for me. And he's wonderful. So, yeah, make sure you listen to that. Definitely. And then um, my next release is actually coming out pretty soon and working on my edits. So, yeah, I just showed a picture on, on um, uh, everywhere, actually, on Twitter, on Instagram, on mm -hmm. Facebook where I showed the title uh, of the book and nothing after, like it was blank. Mm -hmm. So people know that I'm working on my edits. And yeah, so my book is finally coming out. It's book two, Sacrifice Love. It is Melody and Agustin's story. With, uh, Melody is Dar Amy Darian's uh, older daughter, mm -hmm. so you're gonna get to meet uh, both their daughters in uh, Sacrifice Love, and uh, so it's very exciting for me. <laughs> that is exciting. I can't wait to read it. I can't wait to release it because it's been taking a long time, but it's gonna be finally coming out soon, hopefully. I only started editing like two weeks ago, but but it's coming along very well. So, so good. Uh, I'll get through the the amount of edits that I have 
pretty fast and um, I'll be able to release it, hopefully. I'm not, I'm not saying any release dates. I never do. Mm-hmm. But hopefully, I'm hoping for uh, the end of this year or next year. So I'm hoping for that. That'll and be also, good. Jessica Osmond is doing my cover for that book. Mm-hmm. And the next book after that. Yeah. So, yeah, I'm um, doing my group. Um, it's called um, Magical Discussions with Diana Rose. Okay. And um, you'll get the inside uh, scoop on everything. Before it happens. So, yeah. Awesome. Well, you guys, this is Diana Rose, and I'm going to have the links to everything in the information with the video. Be sure to check her out and get her books. Thank you for being with us today, Diana. So much for having me.